Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Tiffany. If you are new here, if you are a loyal subscriber, hey girl, hey. I am so excited for this video. I feel like I have not talked to my girls in such a long time. Um, I have been taking some time away for myself, but I had to come back because I am still on a mission for um, inspiring young women, encouraging young women, and just giving young women direction, helping them in their self-development. And I didn't want to let y'all down. I didn't want y'all to be like, where is she? She's not uploading any more videos, but I'm back. You know, I'm back and I'm better than ever. So let's go ahead and get into this video. Today, we are talking about how to find your purpose in God oh my goodness i'm super excited so if you are interested in watching this video continue watching make sure you like and subscribe to see more videos on self-development okay so ladies we are doing our girl talk i decided to start um to put a title on these videos so it's going to be tiffany talks and we're gonna get into it. This is where we sit down and we can be 100% authentic to who we are. And I have been getting some comments on some of my previous videos and I love that. I love when you guys comment and just to get feedback so we can have girl talk. I really, really enjoy that. So today's topic, we're gonna to be talking about how to find your purpose. I really feel like there's so much out there today and we are all evolving and there are some things that can attack our identity in Christ and let's just get to the bottom of it so no more wondering okay so how do we find our purpose in Christ so first of all let's talk about let's look at the definition of what is a purpose okay let's start from the root the purpose is the meaning of a purpose is the reason for which something is done or created or for which something exists. So what do you do? What do you create? Or why do you exist? That is your purpose. So as Christian believers, we wanna talk about what do you do for God? What were you created to do for God? And why do you exist for God? Okay. So the first thing we want to do to find our purpose in God is find our identity. You cannot know what to do, why you do it, if you don't know who you are. The first thing you have to do to find out what your purpose here is on earth is to find out who you are at your core. What are your morals? What are your beliefs? What are your values? As Christians, we believe in Jesus Christ. So in order for us to find out who we are, we got to go to the creator who created us, God. So the number one thing to find out your purpose is to go to God and ask him, God, who am I? Who am I? Who did you create me to be? Why do I exist here on earth? Okay. So some of the things we know as Christians believers are we are to preach the gospel of God. So that's one thing we are to do. Uh, something that we are created to do is minister to others, you know, help those in need. That is something we are created to do. We are created to live a life according to God's principles, according to biblical principles. And why do we, why do we exist? Um, we exist because we are a reflection of Jesus. You know, God created mankind to be a reflection of how 
um, Jesus wants us to live throughout this earth. He wants us to demonstrate how he lived on this earth and how he walks among the people. Um, so I had a I had another thing written down in my notes. Um, I was reading this book, and what stuck out to me it says Luke four eighteen through nineteen. The Spirit of the Lord is upon me, because He have anointed me to preach the gospel to the poor. He has sent me to heal the brokenhearted, to preach deliverance to the captives, and recovering of sight of the blind, to set a liberty them that are bruised, to preach the acceptable year of the Lord. So it is in the Bible, our purpose right here. What do we do? We preach the gospel to the poor. What, we, what were we created for? To heal the brokenhearted, to preach the deliverance, to recover the sight of the blind. Why do we exist? To preach the acceptable year of the Lord. That is our number one purpose. Before we do anything else, and I'm going to talk about some of our purpose, our some of, I'm going to talk about some things that extend our purpose on earth, but this is your number one purpose. As a Christian, as a believer, what God says your purpose is, this is it right here. We are to get to know the Lord, our Christ, our Savior, so that he can impart in us what he wants us to do here on earth. Amen? Okay. So now let's go into an extension of your purpose. This is the fun part. This is what everybody is really wondering about because this part, we already know as Christian believers what we're supposed to be doing. And if you don't know, you need to get in a Bible study. You need to get in a Bible-based church that can help you along the way. But we know the first part and that's what messes us up. A lot of us don't really, we can't really tap into our purpose because we forget the first part. That is your first part, is to preach the gospel of the Lord, okay? And now let's go into our annex, our extension um, of our purpose. So the next thing you want to do is um, identify things that you are passionate about. That is the next thing to find your kingdom purpose is identify your passions, your talents, and where your creativity ignites. So the, the next thing is when you find your passions, your passion will most likely be in your hands or in your heart. So what do you feel your what do you feel at the core of your heart that you love to do? OK, so that can be um, my passion is mending the hearts of others, which also reflects what we read earlier is heal the brokenhearted. My passion, like this is my passion, to speak to young women, to help them identify who they are in Christ, to help them grow in their relationship, um, to help them feel beautiful inside and out. So with that passion comes your talent. My talent is hair and makeup. I grew up, I grew up doing hair and makeup um, since I was like yay high. That was a talent of mine. So if you have a talent which is singing, Singing is your talent, but your passion can be healing. So your talent is most likely what you do with your hands. So if you can cook, but your passion is seeing people feel good and seeing them, seeing people enjoy your food. Your passion could be bringing families together with your food. So that your talent and your gift, you know, is in your hands. And then your passion comes from the heart. What do I love to do? What can I do that I will all really and truly do it for free? Because that's my passion. My heart um, ignites. And then where your creativity ignites. So um, creativity can show up in many ways. Um, like I said, hair, makeup, you're creative. If you're an artist, you're a painter, creativity. Um, so that is your gift that God has given you. That is your talent. Your purpose through that is where your passion comes in. If you if you draw or you paint, your your purpose is to bring people to the foresight of your artist, um, of the art. Your purpose is to tell a story. Hopefully, that um, story um, resonates with people. Can can bring healing. What can what can you do with your hands or or even your mouth? Your talent can be your singer. 
um, but your purpose is to heal through your stories and your testimonies that you're writing, your talent. You can be a writer. You write poetry. You write books. But the purpose of the books is to tell a story, bring people together, relate to other people so that um, they can get something from it. If I'm reading a book, most likely it's a self-development book. The purpose of the book is for me to learn, to grow. That's the purpose. That's the passion. That's the person's passage. So look at your talents. Look at where your creativity ignites. Look at where you dream. Look in your dreams. What do I wake up and I dream to do? What brings me that fire inside of me that gets me going? All of that can help you find your purpose. Um, and also acknowledge your acknowledge your values. We talked about that earlier, like your morals, your values, your beliefs. Somewhere in that it lies your values. Like me, my purpose is to minister to young women, to help them grow. My values are Christian beliefs. My values are family. So if you also want to recognize it, am I doing something that has me aligned with my purpose? then some of your morals and values will also be displayed in what you're doing and what you're created to do. Okay, so everything will align. So the, let's do a recap. To find your purpose is to find your kingdom purpose at the face of God. You know, go to God, ask God, what is my purpose here? Why do I exist? What am I created to do? And then two, identify my passions, talents, and my creativity. And then three, acknowledge your values. What What is the value that, what value does this purpose bring to people? Does, does my true authentic values at my core align with what I'm doing and my passions and talents? And then um, the last thing I want you to do is pray. Um, after you come up with who you are and you go to God and say, you know, what am I supposed to do? The last thing I want you to do, how to, that, that shows you that you're aligned in your purpose and that you're finding your purpose is prayer. As these things come to you, you're going to need to be praying, asking God, is this it? Am I doing things the right way? Am I, again, lining up with the purpose and the plan that you have given me? You need to pray that you stay disciplined, okay? As you begin operating in your purpose, you need to pray for discipline. You need to pray for strength, okay? You need that um, You need that time in prayer because things are going to happen. Once you find out what your purpose is, your kingdom purpose, and God aligns with you, he's, he's going to begin to open doors for you. He's going to do things in your life that you could never imagine because now you are walking on such a spiritual path that also brings spirits that does not necessarily align. So you're gonna to need to be covered in prayer. You need, you're gonna to need to have your armor of God because everybody is not gonna be happy for you. You know, once you start walking in your purpose, you'll also realize, you know, some of the people that are hanging with you that doesn't align, they'll begin to just naturally fall off. You know, things that you were doing that doesn't align will naturally fall off. You know, if if you're into fitness, drinking and smoking will not align. So things will just naturally start falling off. So you're going to need to be in prayer so that God can continue to hold your hand through this. God continue to walk with you through this journey because that's the ultimate goal for him. He wants you not to be on this earth wasting time. We don't have much time left. You know, God is very present in this hour and he wants you to be doing exactly what he has caused you to do. Okay, so I'm super excited for those who have found their purpose and walking in it and on that journey. And for those who have not found their purpose, I'm so excited for God to do his big one for him to reveal to you what you are here for. Because every day you're here and you're taking a fresh breath. That's an opportunity for God to do something in your life. 
okay so we don't want to take this time for granted we don't want to miss what god is doing in this season so i'm excited i'm excited for you to find your purpose and start walking in it and truly truly allow god to reveal himself in your life it is it's gonna be so great it's gonna be so great so thank you guys for watching this video and i will see you in the next one later